Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming. Today we look at possible deck combination. We're gonna jump straight. Why? We're gonna jump straight in. And we're gonna look at a few combination. This is the main combination that I'm using. This one is primarily for short fights. I'm using Draconic Scondrel. I'm using the current Ultimate Form Usurpers of um, Fortune, Freedom Fighter, which is one of the best utility cards in the game. I'm using two copy of um, Lord Executioner Renz, which is the Master Collection card for the current deck. This combination works quite well. It uses the Usurpers of Fortune, which is the current ultimate form. It uses um, the support card. It uses Supreme Santa, Executioner Renz as well. So Supreme Santa is primarily there to boost the attack output of all the cards that are Noble Killers. So one of the things that you probably would want to do instead of using um, Bio Blitz, not Bio Blitz, Freedom Fighter, which does a new damage on um, the turn after your main attack, you might want to use two of um, Lord Executioner Ends. Now this deck is primarily for long fights. It's not short fights because you need to get your intensity high enough. Because Supreme Santa will increase your Noble Killer attack by 200% plus an additional 10% for every 20 Noble Killer intensity. If 8 or more Water Power Gem 1, if 8 Water Power Gem 1s are higher on the board, it will in, this will be times 10. It's got a 6 turn cooldown as well and it creates um, Water Power Gem 3s passively. Every 3 turn it will give you 4 Water Power Gem 3s, which is quite good for powering up um, Supreme Santa's um, battles here. Uh, the support card will convert those eight water power gem to dark gems which is really really good i was using a dark scepter on the, the deck just to aid in healing however i think it's much better to use um a few noble a few more noble noble relic primarily to break arcane shield if you use a noble relic that isn't of the affinity of the deck that you're using, it will not generate intensity and it will not create gems or power gems. However, it will still break the shield. If it's an arcane relic, it will break arcane shield. If it's a noble relic, it will break noble shield. So I'm using two additional noble relic on this deck just to break a few more noble shield. One of them is an ultimate relic which will break two noble shields. So I'm running four R um, noble relic on board this one. And I'm also running a dark slayer ultimate relic. This one is um, a combination using just the main the event card and the support card it uses draconic scondrel to produce most of your power gem alongside hell beauticious decay with this combination you can produce a full board of power gem it is powerful but it's not extremely powerful but it's a deck that can actually compete within the event at the moment i'm in king's league so this is a deck that can perform quite well within king's league this one, however, is a deck that would perform really well in like Paladin League or um, it can do okay in Kings League, but it's not a deck that's going to um, compete very well in the Solar Leaderboard. However, if you haven't got anything else, you can use Hellbutitious Decay if you've got one copy, use one copy. If you've got Soul Reaper, you can use one copy of Soul Reaper, two copy of Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper and Hellbutitious Decay does the same thing. They'll create six Dark Power Gem, and then if you've got a four or more Dark Power Gem force on the board, it will create an additional six. Soul Reaper will create Power Gem 1s, while Beautitious Decay will create Power Gem 2s. So those are two good utility cards from generation 2 that are is able to produce power gems for you i'm using the mouse king because the mouse king does produce power gem force however the mouse king will not give you any a lot of damage output so you probably would want to replace the mouse king with um a slayer card that can actually produce four or more dark power gem even if you've got a slayer card that can produce three dark power gem four you could put it in because when you swap your gems on the first turn, you'll get a power gem 4 depending on how much dark power gems you've actually matched. And activating that card that gives you 3 additional 
power gem fours will give you the ability to tap into the extra gem production of beauticious decay or soul reaper so that's um something you could look to put together however if you've got an ultimate form that can do the same thing that can produce um power gem fours you could combine that ultimate form or that master collection card with um beauticious decay so if we look into the collection and let's see if we've got anything that can produce ball gem force so say you've got the ultimate form for the Joclonic scoundrel that that produces four ball gem fours if not you could look for you could look for a card within it doesn't really have to be slayer it can be commander as well because your main damage dealers are going to be your support cards so it could be a number of card you need to activate um the card that's gonna produce your power gem fours first and then you activate beautitious decay so let's see this particular combination in action no 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 so let's go and let's see if we can find a boss that's got enough hp where we can demonstrate the effectiveness of this deck let's take on this one we won't be able to kill it with a deck like this but it will demonstrate the amount of damage that this deck can actually put out now you won't be short for heal because alongside the support card beauticious decay does give you a heal as well so you want to activate um, your, your card that's gonna produce your or four project fours then beautious decay and then fill out the space we didn't even need to fill out the space because uh, with the two held beautious decay they will be producing 20 power gems by themselves and as you can see the damage is not relatively um, high but it is something that you could use to compete with it well well just play the event really because I find that um, enjoying the event is far better than um, trying to be in the top 10 in the, in the world. Because trying to be in the top 10 all the time is going to stress you out and it will force you to start then spending money that you don't really have. You won't be as smart with your gems and you'll start spending the gems. Because recently I realized that haven't been as um, shrewd with my gems as I was say last year last year I was far more um, better at conserving my gems so I done a calculation yesterday and I realized that I've been spending over 7,000 gem each event and that wasn't really a wise thing to do so now I'm gonna start um, going up to tier 3 of the main of the main vault and the retro vault i'm just gonna go up to tier two and with that i should be spending around about four thousand five hundred four thousand six hundred gems which is vastly more um conservative than what i've been doing previously so that's the cheap and cheerful combination so let's have a look at um the main combo so the main combo will deal far more damage because it's using more cards from the current event plus it's got the killer skill so the killer skill give you a 900 percent boost damage boost to all your cards on the deck which enable your deck to actually deal far more damage without than if you haven't got the um, killer skill so the killer skill is really important and that's one of the reasons why I try to um, collect as much of the killer skills as possible. The killer skills in 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 the meta now is more powerful than the killer skills before, because the killer skills before actually give you a 400% increase, while the killer skills now give you a 900% increase. So if we look at usurpers of fortune, you will see that the um, Increase docks their damage by 900%, while Bio Blitz will only increase it by 400%. And that's the difference between the ultimate forms 
of old and the ultimate forms that we have had since um, the end of December. That's what makes them relatively more powerful. So that's um, the main deck. Let's see if we can see this deck in action. We have to find a boss with um, really high health, one that we're gonna fight for quite long. And then that will demonstrate, okay, so here is one um, Apollo, and we're gonna use this deck. We use three keys. And as soon as you get up to about 200 um, intensity, you want to start to activate your your Supreme Santa. Because around about 200 intensity, you're going to start producing quite a bit more damage output. However, do use your chip damage. So activate your cards as often as possible to do chip damage. Chip, chip damage is quite important. It helps you to deal a bit more damage over time rather than just um, keep on matching gems and only activating when you've got enough um, when you've got enough intensity you will do quite a bit more damage with chip damage so at the moment I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing my intensity is 150. My, seat, my Supreme Santa isn't powered up as yet. But I'm not too bothered about that because I know in time it will be powered up to its maximum amount. So my Supreme Santa is now powered up. What I need is now 8 water power gems on the board, which I've got. So I'll just activate all my cards. And my support card should actually overwrite a few of those water power gems and 19 trillion 22 trillion 35 trillion so you can see the damage output and, uh, of the cards at, at the moment so run about 400 intensity we should be producing far more damage than we actually are at the moment so just need to get up to 400 intensity We've got two minutes, two seconds remaining. We need to power up um, Supreme Santa. Oh no, I'm running out of time. It does take a lot of concentration. However, I don't think I'm going to do it because I'm running out of time. So it does depend on time. So we're gonna go back again. And this time when we go in, I'm gonna try and um, get up to 400 intensity before time runs out so we're gonna jump right back in so it takes a lot of concentration you have to play fast and you have to just match gems just keep matching gems so again straight in try and pop my skills as quick as possible Not gonna activate my support card. I don't want to override um, much of the water gems because I want to power up my um, Supreme Center. It's almost powered up. I was using Bio Blitz on the combo just to get that um, extra damage at the end. However, because Bio Blitz is not a um bio blitz is not a noble killer it's not really doing exactly what i wanted to do so i'm, I'm using this combination and hopefully this combination should work out relatively better than with bio blitz so we're up to 175 intensity at the moment we're down to 12 we're down to 12 seconds so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep playing and see if I can actually get up. Okay, so make a match there. And then next activation, I will activate all my cards. So here we go, activate all my cards. Both my support cards will override a few. Oh, that was 
into swap. Let's see how much damage we. 16, 30. So that's not bad. We're up to 30, 30 trillion on the ultimate form. So the damage, damage output has increased um, quite exponentially. Power power um, supreme center. Two seconds. So I'm just gonna activate um, my battle skills. Ooh, time up. So apart from running out of time, it's it's a relatively powerful deck. And as long as you you, you get um, as long as you get the gist of it, you get out to actually work the deck, or uh, you could do quite a bit of damage using this deck so let's see with two attack how much damage we did we done 202 trillion damage on two attack but if i wasn't actually running out of time with one attack i probably could take out the boss this deck is it can be quite powerful but at the moment it doesn't feel as powerful as what i expect it to be the decks recently have felt as powerful as say the decks that we were seeing in um say february or march the the decks that we saw in in, in um february january and february and around about the first part of march seems to be a far more powerful than the decks that we are seeing now uh the decks that we are seeing now they present themselves as being quite powerful however when you actually get these decks and use them they're not really as powerful as they expect them to be Hopefully later on in the year when we start getting more cards in the um, noble the noble skill and the other skills like um, the B skills, we'll actually see the benefit of some of these cards when we start to mix and match these decks. But at the moment, I'm not really feeling the effectiveness of a lot of these um, decks recently. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. We'll see if it gets better towards the year. So those are some of the combination that you can use. There's more combination that you can use. You can mix and match any cards that will produce power gems and use the support cards, use the main cards. Um, if you've got the master collection card, but you haven't got the ultra rare, you can use the master collection card, use the ultra rare, mix and match all the cards that you've got, come up with the best possible combination that you can to actually enjoy the event and get as much of the season coins from the collection as possible. So this is Arctane insane. hope you have enjoyed the video, like, subscribe and as always stay healthy, stay safe, peace and enjoy the event. Bye for now.